हेलो एंड वेलकम टू दिस टास्क बेस्ड ट्रेनिंग प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ इनोवेंट टैक्स सो दिस वीडियो विल प्रोवाइड यू द सोल्यूशन ऑफ द टास्क वन पॉइंट टू विच वॉज गिवन बाय इनोवेंट टैक्स होप यू आर डूइंग वेल इन योर टास्क नंबर टू सो द टास्क वन पॉइंट टू हैड ए प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट ऑफ दैट वी हैड टू ब्लिंक ए एल ई डी एंड वी हैव टू कंट्रोल इट्स ब्लिंकिंग स्पीड बाय यूज ऑफ अ पोटेंशियोमीटर सो वॉट इज द पोटेंशियोमीटर Potentiometer is a device which is used for controlling the resistance. So I am just importing this starter kit here, and you can, as you can see, it has connections of the breadboard already done, which means that it has connected positive and negative terminals or to the breadboard. So now we are just importing one LED. one resistor as usual the resistor would be of 220 ohms so now taking this to to the breadboard and leaving it there so as usual we would ground the a cathode of the led to the ground on the breadboard okay i hope we are clear so now we will start completing the connection of the led so i am just connecting this led to pin number 9 so hope so you are understanding up till this so after that i will import potentiometer so i just want to know, tell you that potentiometer contains i just want to tell you that change the resistance to 250 or 220 ohms okay so potentiometer contains three terminals terminal 1 terminal 2 and bipo so the basic per terminal 2 is always connected to the positive so you can understand that the, you can relate that terminal 2 is anode and terminal 1 is cathode And the wiper is the resistance the, through which the wiper is the terminal through which the variable resistance output is always measured. So I am connecting terminal two to the positive and terminal one to the ground. I hope so that I am clear up till now. So changing the color of the wires as usual. After that, I just want to make one change. that i would connect this pin that is the wiper to analog a0 okay and change its color to yellow now everything has been completed the connections have been completed so now let us move on to the code so just drag and drop this code to the dustbin as usual now select variables and and create a variable known as speed okay you can name the variable as you want now we need to set speed to so after that we have connected the potentiometer to the pin a0 so uh, we just want to do that that after we change the value of the potentiometer the arduino should know that the potentiometer is giving this value and it must store in this variable known as speed so that we would just give it read analog pin so that the speed value would get the read analog pin a0 that's what which at the which potentiometer is connected so speed would be set speed variable would be assigned the value of the analog pin which is given by the potentiometer after that we have to set pin number 9 which is our led so i will select your pin number 9 as usual and then i will just have one control variable known as weight as usual you know that a weight statement is what cap what it's what is its capability and uh, up till now we had been using weight statement for particular number of seconds but i just want to tell you that weight statement could also be 
given input as variable so i am just dragging and dropping in a variable known as speed which is storing the value of the analog pin and just change the value unit to the milliseconds after that we have to just shut off the led so turn off the for turning off the led i would just do the usual thing that we are doing that is setting it to the low and one more time one more wait statement same as the above one i hope i'm clear and boom that's done now we can start the simulation so so if we move the potentiometer then the blinking speed of led would increase and in the opposite side the blinking speed of led would decrease okay so the task number 2 has been completed you can see that this is the fastest speed which we can see okay so i thank you all for joining us in the tbt and stay tuned for more solutions from me and from team innovantex thank you